five of them on and five red lights are out and we're underway in spots. A good launch there from the Ferrari. A good launch from the Williams as well. Look out for the Alphatari up the inside. Haas got a good launch there. Place was there, Waffleton, but uh, looks like Connors at the moment has got a bit of pressure right now from the Ferrari. Oloval and Shelby in P6 and P7 going go Oh, and there's Max side Speed side. just spun towards the back. Max Speed, I'm going to keep an eye on the action. Just collected by the Alfa Romeo. I think of Barn Sack. Yeah, it's Zach there, who... All right, so here's what happened. If you didn't catch it on stream, Zach went a bit wide on the exit of the corner and ended up collecting... Just yet. Keeping Major Castleman in that play. Keeping in his castle, of course. McDonald's Special will get the fastest lap. Being the first one across the line for lap two. You try to make a run, mate. Good luck, home. Did he get it done? Oh, a little bit elbow shuffling. That's what you get at the moment, the Gladiators. Expect this arena to be full of the best. It's an Aston Martin at the moment. Not sure what's happening there. They're both on the same tire, the mediums, but uh, teams to me at the moment. Perpetual runs a little bit quicker. We know Perpetual Ride has some serious pace. Crew North Racing says, well, my friend, well, unless you are the number one driver, you can't prove that to me just yet. Oh, Watch puns. out for Waffle and Headers. There's yeah. definitely some issues going on there. I think the issues that we see throughout the world of F1 right now, F1 League Racing, and we don't say the D word, but it's definitely going on. And Aston Martin, they're side by side going down the camel straight now. It's going to be the lead Aston Martin of Perpetual Rain, who jockeys for that position and snags it away from his teammate. Take a budding snags, exactly. Perpetual Rain getting it done on True North Racing, his team. And maybe he doesn't like his pancakes for breakfast. He's in a bit of trouble. Dropped a lot, mate. Well, no you damage. think with the Belgian waffles, you know, that old yeah. thing, that it would go well for him here, but waffles really falling down the order. And down in P14, he, he's going into turn one now. Yeah. But keep an eye on Cotters right here. He's yeah, got a cool. good run on Julian up here for this P6 position. Yeah, and sorry, I can't stop. I can't seize. You know, it's a little bit, mate, until I get those sneezes out. Made you, there, you. Yeah. there you go. Watch out for Henners and Rain, who are closing in on Cotters as well. These drivers oh, all on the same. match. Oh, who's in defense? That's Lavelle. That's Lavelle. Lavelle hasn't kept it all cool, calm, cold, calm, and collective. Wait, stay on board Wait, with stay Henners, on board with Henners, though. He gets through on Cotters. Down to the next corner. Maybe caught out by that incident with Lavelle there. We're going to see the Alfa Romeo through on the Alfa Tari. And look out for Perpetual Rain going around the outside. Inside of the next corner now. The hold still... him off. Nearly three wheeling it is Perpetual Rain as that was some great racing between these drivers. Excitement all every corner, isn't it? Absolutely. Good catch on that one. I don't even know which one you're talking about, but this is still Great battling between these fellas. Shavey has been closed on. down the Kemmel straight with that DRS wing open for headers. He's going to try and make it two in as many laps here as he goes around the outside of the Haas. And down into the braking zone, he will be ahead. A nice overtake there from Henders. And look out at the back there, Perpetual Rain. And Cotters going side by side. Rain does finally get through. And some great racing to see. Tychopath, thank you for the subscription. Appreciate that here at PPR. Uh, yeah, well, Cody knows everything. Don't, yeah, just, I don't know. Cody's a mastermind. Cody's the future. He can predict. Madra, thank you for the follow. We appreciate that. Yes. Yep. That's an early pit stop. Let's have these tires real quick before he goes in the pit lane. And uh, we're looking at about a 40 stopping and change. So he's just uh, not risking it for the biscuit anymore. Ferrari team's prepared for him. Zach is the Will Cody come back into the pit to get a fresh set of boots? No, he's going to take he's nice, a couple up. of positions here. And we'll see. Cody Lawrence could end up way up the order here. like you know what do you call yeah, it don't forget about yeah. cody lawrence as he's slowing down for that delta right now just a bit ahead of mcdonald's combo what, back mcdonald's time. combo is going to be laughing all the way through the drive through look he stays out everybody well, bye will bye he? in he the pit lane sacrifice no he's no. going to be sacrificed by this massively oh no 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 i'm sorry i was looking yeah. at a different ferrari on the map no. i'm looking at the ferrari of yulian all the way back there he crazy call tactics. right away there yeah, what's Cody up to? Keep an eye on Cody. This is something from Perpetual Rain, though. He was right at that crossover. Yeah, FOG. Yeah, yeah, all right. It's a, well, we don't know. That was bizarre, Bagels. But up front, <laughs> safety car is in this lap, so we've got to keep going with yep. what we have here. It's McDonald's combo bag. Hayden leading the way here with Major from Castle. A couple years ago, there's the Alfa Romeo at the inside of the Haas. And that's Stoney. It's actually the Alfa Romeo was able to get through there. 
And that being Henners all the way up in a P3. A good Henners got, has got Major. Henners is thinking about, no, he's not Major. He's just like, I've had my McDonald's combo, and I'm upsizing this right now. I'm upsizing the Alfa Romeo from P3, maybe to P1. What a great launch. The pressure on McDonald's combo bag as well. May I remind you, he's on those soft tires that will definitely be a bit more racy here at this restart. And a good call from him to throw them on. Time. And get McDonald's combo bag says, okay, mate, you're going to go through the drive-thru, go around the drive-thru of my Ferrari. And Henna says, all right, no problems. I'll take that one any day of the week. Up in a P1. It's Mr. Henna's. Yeah, and near side. now getting a couple more places, as you know. Waffles got this one too. And hey, mate, my friend, uh, this is called a motor race, according to Michael Messi. On the horses in front, Stoney and Shavy, the next two drivers up. And we have a Mercedes stopped on track right now. Is that Pelletier? He's spun around. He's still moving, though. That's good. Looking to get things He's going. This very we'll keep it on, Cody. Up a time penalty. I was going to say, keep it on, Cody's going to try to risk it for the biscuit round, true north racing. And that's the last of the late break. Is anybody can do it? Cody can. Can he get a good exit out of here? Yes, he can. And remember, Cody's just behind Coders. They give him some tongue twisters. Back to overtaken by Castleman as well up front. But Cotters gets through on the house of Shea B for the time being. Yeah, Cody, good job. A little bit more of a gap, but Hannah's tires can't go to the end of the race. 12 22, guys, about halfway through. Rain lurking. Will it come in time? I'm not quite sure. We'll be back after this. Not sure commercial break. We're still here. Kerbsy, what do you think about this? A bear hug from Zach Brown. He breaks ribs when he, he hugs you. But then again, Cody wants a bug, a bear hug from Zach Brown. So McLaren up in the P6. That's from what, what last place from Cody? Are you surprised? Are we? Really? Kind of oh, what's happening? Oh, Stoney and Cotters. Up front. Stoney yeah. and Cotters. Biggles, how about that? Cotters is just able to get through for that position. And Cotters makes it two hosses and two laps. Good job. And McDonald's combo. Well, he doesn't like McDonald's, right? It's bad for you, but it's fast, it's quick, and it's easy. And it fills you up. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Cover girl. Great way to be in. True North Racing, putting a bit of pressure on Shelby. That's what it is currently at the moment. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, here in PPR Esports, T1 America's Round Spa. Yeah, Castleman closing in for that P1 spot oh, here. The medium runners catching the soft ahead of Henners. Meanwhile, True North Racing still putting some good times in behind Shea B there. So a few different battles to keep an eye on here, but... Burns him out. I still like the strategy call, though, from Henners. You, you always love a bit of a different strategy call here because if everybody comes out on mediums it gets a bit dull doesn't it how did he's going the bus stop oh contact between the two drivers that was a front wing collecting the rear left of cody lawrence at least on my screen might be different for some other drivers and it sure is isn't it here's major castleman with a ton of pace this time around up the inside looks to have a bit more and henner's still trying to make it work but can't with those soft tires that are truly falling off. And Major Castleman is now your race track. That's not really that. It seems like it's less, but it's a lot. It's not uh, It's not Spielberg here, where it's to only 10 corners. This is a lot of track. And look at that. McDonald's combos now put pressure on Henners. So how, what can Henners do to hold him off? Quickly on Henners here, or he's going to see himself losing a ton of pace. You can almost hear his... Ferrari lifting there just a bit. Major Castleman leading. But here is Hayden trying to go up the inside of the Alfa Romeo. And he does so. And good racecraft from both drivers to realize where boxing. Uh, you may be able to give us a bit of an update of what's going on there, Max Speed. But so far, so good. We're going to continue with this race because it looks good up here in the commentary box. Yeah, continue on. Biggles Fires is able to make it stick there. What a nice overtake that was for wow. Cotters to get back into the podium. Biggles, this is where he belonged last week. Hennis, was it? No! That wasn't me, Hennis. Well, because He's I was on board. He's running, though. But Biggles, yeah. that's a massive drop there for Hennis. Yeah. It looked like he was going to be able to secure a good haul of points here. I mean, a top five looked to be on the, the card. The thing is... It he, he needs to catch up as much as possible because he's, he's basically got to somehow find a way past McDonald's combo bag and then bring Well, his, I'm just looking yeah. at Cody Lawrence. Look at, I mean, look at the pace he has right now. He's closed yeah. it massively. Henners is out of the way. And his combo, who is on currently no warning, so he's looking pretty good for a race win. Cotters, does he have enough gas in the tank? We know that before. Guess what, guys? It's the penultimate lap of the race here around Spa. 
around you know eight. what else I'm here for the final time it's gonna be major castle man getting through across the line of p Quan. but guess what easy breezy beautiful combo bag across the line at p2 but finishes p1 here due to the time penalties cotters crosses the line 14 uh, 13 drivers finishing only three retirements and we heard obviously from max speed that was a self-retirement that's a pretty damn good result it is only one safety car here There's around no maybelline whatever care he has going on it's hayden celebrating on the top step for the Ferrari team.